Do you ever play Rebirth Island, get the victory, and then look at the scoreboard and see that you only have three or four kills? Well, I have once in a while, and that actually really bothers me a lot. And if you guys get bothered like me as well, make sure to follow these tips. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of tips to get a bunch more kills. 10, 20, maybe even 30. Who knows? And maybe if you're godly enough, you could drop 30 on Rebirth Island. We're going to talk about all that and how to play a lot better at the game. How to use strategy to beat the enemies. Not Accuracy is not everything. Like, it's really important, but it's definitely not everything. And we're going to get into that in this video right here. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to a Nether Warzone slash Rebirth Island video. Now the reason I'm playing a lot of Rebirth lately is because, well, I'm kind of tired of Cold War waiting out Vanguard and I'm kind of tired of Modern Warfare as well and even regular Verdansk. Like I just kind of get bored of all that. So Rebirth Island has been something that I really have a love for at the moment and that's what I'm playing a lot and I've been noticing, I've been getting a lot better at it recently as well because I wasn't that good at it at first, but I noticed a lot of things and I've been writing down a lot of these things that I noticed and I want to share them all with you so you guys could play better as well win more gunfights squad wipe and do what you got to do now if you guys could drop a like on this video that would be truly amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notices turned on and let me know down in the comments below what is your kill record on rebirth island on alcatraz let me know down in the comments man i really want to see what everyone has i want to see what everyone does in this game and what i mean if you tell me one i mean good for you but yo we got we, we got to watch this video okay bro if, if your kill record is one all right let's talk about it man the first thing you want to do and and this is the the most important thing to get a lot of kills is to literally farm kills in a certain area and then wait for the teams to come back this is what a lot of people do if you're playing like 4v4 v4 v4 well so on and so forth people are coming back kill them kill three of them keep one alive it doesn't matter let the other ones come back and land when they land they're not going to be ready for gunfights they're going to be looking for their stuff kill them again i mean this is really annoying i hate dying like this i hate when a, when a squad is like really capping out my loadout or something but if if it works dude it works so just farm a bunch of people get those kills and do what you got to do now i'm gonna say this because i did mention this really quickly i said kill three not four you do not want to team wipe if you team wipe that's four less people for you to continue getting kills on throughout the rest of the match even if they leave locations that's still four less people for you to actually get kills on so unless you really really have to team wipe because the last dude's shooting right at you and you have nowhere to go go ahead and do it or if it's an actual mistake like you find one guy alone you shoot him and it's a team wipe it's whatever but try not to team wipe if you team wipe you're literally just putting yourself at a disadvantage to go for higher kill records so trust me if you want to get more kills leave those people alive at least leave one alive let his teammates come back and then get them when they're not on guard now always be on rotation as well this is probably one of the most important tips i do this a lot i haven't i haven't i have a mistake with this like i though my play style I, I find one area, I'm comfortable in that area, and then I don't leave, but then I realize I only get like 6 kills that game, but when I get like 10, 15 kills and stuff like that, it's when I'm actually rotating, it's when I'm playing on the rotation, so let's take control center for example, land control center, kill everyone there, maybe don't team wipe, but kill a lot of people there, once you have like 8 kills or something, move on, go to prison, go somewhere else, go, go anywhere you gotta go, and start killing people there, once you kill a bunch of people there, rotate again, and try to find more people in a different area, and the more you rotate, rotate the more teams you're going to run into the more chances you are going to going to have to get a lot more kills so rotations are very important a lot of people underlook this a lot of people just get comfortable in one area and sit there and wait for the teams to come to you but you don't want to do that you want to be rotating you want to be practicing every gunfight you can the more gunfights you get into the better you get so even if you're rotating at first and you're not doing good and you're getting like three kills and dying at least you're practicing look at it that way and you'll get better throughout time now another thing i'm going to say is when you get closer to the end circles like maybe the last two circles or something or three circles you want to be the first one to move into the circle i know this might sound wrong you might want to wait for enemies to run there but when you're running with the storm to your back you're not focusing on anything else there's going to be teammates with there's or enemies i should say waiting for you and your teammates to push through there and they're going to kill you and you're going to have nowhere to go and if you don't have a gas mask you're not going to turn around back into the storm to run the other way you're going to get messed up so i always say be the first one in the next circle and catch all of those people as they're running like headless chickens towards you you could easily take them out do what you got to do and smack them around easily now another thing i want to say and this is a very basic tip this one like everybody knows this but literally i want to reiterate it into your guys's heads that you gotta aim for the head always 
always 100% of the time aim for the head aim for the upper chest it doesn't matter if you're not good at aiming at the head aim at the upper chest just don't aim at the legs unless you're like really into that gunfight and you don't realize what you're doing go for it whatever but dude if you're doing 20 damage to the legs rather than 55 damage per shot to the head you're gonna lose if you're shooting the legs bro even if the guy's shooting you in the chest you're gonna lose no matter what guns it are you're gonna lose so make sure you guys are aiming for those heads upper chest whatever you got to do get more damage in per bullet and you're gonna be winning those gunfights a lot easier now aiming for the head is very important but something that is a little more important is movement during gunfights this is even better this is what you definitely want to master now you could practice drop shotting you could practice jump shotting you could do whatever you want I personally say jump shot is better than the drop shot a lot of people like the drop shot because you're harder to hit but if your enemy has good accuracy he's gonna be following you down as you're going in the drop shot and once you go in the drop shot and when you're looking at him the only thing he's going to see is your head so he's going to be doing a lot of damage while shooting at you so that's why i don't really like drop shotting too much but jump shotting on the other hand is really good because it gives you two bonuses one you jump in the air the, if the enemy's shooting at you in the chest and he doesn't adjust his aim for your movement, he's going to be shooting your legs. Your legs are going to be high up in the air because you're jumping. That's what he's going to shoot. Not only that, you jumping in the air also gives you the ability to aim for the head a lot easier. You're going to be hitting a lot of headshots a lot easier as well. So you're going to be doing way more damage while taking way less damage. So that's why I like jump shots. You're going to see a lot of pro players using jump shots and stuff up close. It works. It does the job. Maybe a long range, go for the drop shot. But up close, which is most gunfights... I'm gonna say you want to go for those jump shots now another thing that I'm gonna say about movement is that it's not only good in gunfights it's also good for getting away and stuff like that if an enemy is shooting at you and you have nowhere to go make sure your movement is on point get behind an object throw in a plate run do what you got to do and just keep getting out of the way go left right jump slide do what you got to do movement is good you want to make sure that you're not just running in a straight line now that's pretty basic so let's move on now i will also say and this kind of goes with the first or the rotation tip that i gave you but never overstay your welcome either if you kill three dudes and there's one dude alive and then all three come back and you kill them again and then they all come back but the loadout is there you don't want to overstay because if they all got a loadout they're all ready they know exactly where you are and they're all going to stick together at this point so if you kill them enough they're going to get smart enough to stick together and you don't want to stay there to see how strong they are as a squad so make sure that you guys just don't overstay your welcome be on those rotations and do what you got to do now one biggest tip I got to give and I'm telling myself this too because I definitely don't listen to this one much but that is to not run out in the open you don't want to be in the courtyard of prison for example you don't want to be on the grass between cr uh, prison and control center you don't want to be on the street anywhere near factory or prison and stuff like that either you don't want to be out in the open you, if unless you're rotating do not just be out in the open for no reason if you get into a gunfight out in the open the second that gunfight finishes get yourself to cover because a lot of people are going to see your red dots a lot of people are going to see you and it gets really damn annoying and you don't want to be seen now speaking about being seen get uavs as often as you can a lot of people don't have the option or the chance to get their second loadout in rebirth island or on rebirth island i should say so this is really good for you a lot of people are not going to be running ghost so the more uavs you get the more you know where the enemies are and then all you got to focus on is those arrows on the red dots is it above their head or below their head if it's above their head it means that they're on a floor higher than you two floors higher than you whatever it is it just means they're above you in elevation and if the arrow is below the red dot it means they're lower than you if there's no arrow at all they're on the same floor as you if they're right beside you you better turn around and shoot them man so trust me yeah make sure you guys get uavs as often as you can now another thing i'm going to say and this one it, it's gonna sound like probably the most basic tip alive but always make sure to get plates on before you engage in a gunfight before you re-enter a gunfight make sure to always have those plates on you don't want to be that dude who's out there with three um full health armors but you get shot you lose three and then you're at nothing and then you get into a gunfight the enemy's still at three and you're dead like it's just it's not worth it in my opinion it's not worth it just take two seconds get away even if you never re-enter that gunfight again it's better that you stay alive than you dying to some dude and you have to look for your loadout again you got to pick up ammo again you got to look for a satchel it's just it's not worth dying in this game mode it's not worth it at all there's there's so much you got to do when you re-enter that you're just going to be missing the opportunity to get a lot more kills but that's going to be it for the video guys i hope this does help you i hope you guys do get better at re 
Rebirth Island, and honestly, I'm going to be playing this a lot more. I do really like Rebirth Island, at least until Vanguard comes out. This is what I'm going to be playing a lot. It's what I'm having fun on at the moment. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those noties turned on. Drop a like, and let me know down in the comments below what is your kill record on Rebirth Island. My name is Nick. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, my hit markers, man.